I'm James Buchanan. This is Melissa Buchanan. We're married. <laughs> we're the little friends of printmaking, and we're uh, illustrators and artists and printmakers. We've always made prints. We've always printed our own work. It like helps generate ideas for us, and we're really connected to the process. Yeah, it's a really meditative process, which I find extremely appealing. There are a series of steps, so if you don't feel like doing something one day, you can do a different step and then do the thing that you didn't feel like maybe the next day. There's like a framework and like it helps guide you. I relate to color so differently because I actually have to mix it. It's not an exact science. Well, don't tell a color theory person it's not an exact science, but like. We like to have people consider the print as an object. And to do that, we try to play with like the way that the inks interact with each other. Transparency is a big thing for us. We love in silkscreen how you print one layer of color over another layer of color and you get a texture shift. The way that a silkscreen is typically designed is you go from the lightest color to the darkest color and you always end it with like a key layer that unites everything. This is a bucket of emulsion. I'm putting it into a scoop coater. And this is how we get it onto the screen. We don't know for sure when we're printing it that it's all gonna come together. A thousand little things can yeah. go wrong. All at the same time, why not? Yeah. This print is called Sugar Shack. It's based on a poster design that we did in 2007. It sold out almost immediately, but people were always asking us about it. And then suddenly we were like, oh, why don't we just like plagiarize ourselves? We'll just make another candy shop. We really do think of a print as being a 3D object and not just screen printing as being a way of replicating a drawing. So we'll have like all these shapes. That are almost like jigsaw pieces. Doing it, things this way just completely rewired our brains where like everything we do is, has to just be a touch more thoughtful. We are always trying to push our aesthetic and to do that, we make work for ourselves. So we'll make prints for ourselves to further our aesthetic so that we have items that we can show uh, art directors and say, well, we can make this too. We make the things we want to make. And then they're just out there and people are like, oh yeah, I saw that you were doing this. Can you do that for this magazine cover or whatever? And we'll do it. A big thing that we do, that I guess that we've always done, is like sell our work in person. We do things like Renegade Craft Fair and Comic Con, and we'll go and, and, and sell our work in person. And then like you're in a booth that's like a 10 by 10 cube of like your work, and you're like, oh, there it is. Like that's what I've been doing. And it's just a trip. When we were studying printmaking in college, a local promoter saw us at a bunch of shows and the promoter asked us if we would be interested in making some concert posters for the shows that he was trying to get people to go to. One day we were going up uh, State Street in Madison and we saw that the local promoter was putting up some of our posters for a band that was playing soon. And then as we were coming back, all the posters were gone. And at first we were just like, wait, did he take them down? What happened to them? And what had happened was people stole them because they, I guess, liked the, the poster. It was fascinating to us, just the public's response to it. So like that blew our minds where we were like, oh, maybe like, what's graphic design? Can we do that as a job? What's illustration? This is the first reprinting with different colors. CMYK is great for newspapers. I just hate the individual ink colors, so like we'll do a skewed CMYK where it's like turquoise and then goldenrod and then fluorescent pink and then gray instead of black. And that's, that's what we did with this print. I encourage anyone, like if you're a student and you're studying graphic design or illustration, to find out where you can take a silkscreen course. It's probably at the college or the school that you're studying at. Just give it a try, because like once you start working with printmaking, it will completely change the way you draw. It will completely change the way you think about designing things. So what'd you think? Tell us in the comments. Click here to subscribe and live forever. Click here for more stuff from us. And tune in every Sunday to watch more videos that calm the soul. Bye.